What happens when cows don't get minerals? Well, these cows have been on pasture for the last few months and, you know, they look okay. They're not in great condition, I don't think. And uh, I've just put out some wind and rain for the first time in a box and they are literally going to kill each other, I think, over it. If you can see them back there, they're just fighting. There's one on the other side of the fence and they're trying to stick their heads through that and desperately trying to get it. And I think that's interesting because I have a whole trough full of alfalfa here and they don't give a shit about the alfalfa. I'm sorry, my voice is a little hoarse because I was screaming, chasing off a black bear that got into my cows tonight. It's the first time I've had a bear into my cows and it was chasing one of my calves and we were eating dinner and my oldest daughter said, holy shit, there's a bear chasing our cows. And sure enough, there that little bastard was. So I ran him off. I was hoping to kill him, but I didn't get a chance to do that. And hopefully I still do. Because now that he's learned this place is here, he's just going to have to catch a bullet. But uh, anyways, it's interesting to me to watch these these cows that have been eating grass. And people think, oh, you know, all cows need is grass. Well, uh, I can tell you that's not true because look at, I mean, they are fighting each other. They have been fighting each other. I decided to take this video probably 15 minutes into this process to get to that box of minerals. And I just put $80 of the minerals in that box. And uh, I, don't, I haven't gone to look at it, but I bet you anything that... Uh, it's probably damn close to empty. I mean, I think it's telling when a cow gives up alfalfa to, uh, to get the minerals, there's a pretty severe deficiency there. So, you know, maybe the, the uh, land wasn't fertilized or just really poor quality uh, grass or something because, I mean, these cows, I would have expected them to be in a little bit better condition, and especially for, for animals that are gonna be uh, beef, uh, I gotta get them in top quality condition. See, look at that cow. It's desperately trying to reach through the fence to get to the other stuff, so. You guys, don't break my automatic water for the love of God. The minerals aren't gonna go anywhere. I did put out some salt blocks for them here and uh, hopefully they'll, you know, calm down a little bit here and start to get a little bit more of what they need. I take yarn good care of my cows and uh, hopefully in a couple of days they start to feel a little bit more, more nourished and uh, a little less frantic. So for God's sakes, people, give minerals to your cows, huh?